So right now I'm going to be showing you how to change and edit the header on your Google site. So first you go to more and then scroll all the way down to manage site. Click on that and here's where you can change the name of your site. So this won't change the URL but it'll change what's at the top of the page of the header. So I'll change it to header tutorial and right here you can click or unclick to determine whether it'll show it'll actually show in your header or not so I'll keep it clicked and click save and then I'm gonna scroll down to themes colors and fonts and from there I can go to site header right here and change the background colors and fonts and the title font size and stuff like that. So right here I can go, you can stick with the theme colors that you already have. You can choose none or you can choose a custom one where you can choose from here. Or you can go to a site like Spoonflower which will give you a whole bunch of hex codes. So I'll choose this one which is A6A3DE. So just type that in here. A6 a3 DE. Just click enter and this will give you a little preview of what color it'll look like. So then you can also go over here and click this and upload an image that you can put across the banner right here. And then you can go down to title and you can stick with the theme defaults or you can go customize it so I can just click that one keep it black make it a little bigger maybe anything you want to do and click save so then that's what it'll look like and now I can go back here which will take me back to my site so that's what it looks like right now and then I can go back to the more button, go down to edit site layout, and this one you can hover over everything and change it. So I'll click on the header. And right here, this is where if you're good at Photoshop or you want to make your own banner, you can do that. And I'd recommend saving it in a size of like 900 pixels by 90 pixels, so 900 wide by 90 height. That way it'll stretch across the whole screen and it'll be a good banner size. So you can save that, upload it by choosing the file, and you can use the logo size. Or right here you can say you want no logo. This one, there could be a logo in some of the default themes, but mine doesn't. Or you can do a custom logo, which is where you upload your own. And here, where you can do the theme default or customize it so I'll keep I'll put my title in the middle and keep it centered so it'll look like that now and that's pretty much it thank you